catastrophic flooding uh, there. Yep, our reporter Katie Legrone is joining us live from Lake Eola with the latest. Katie, what are you seeing at this hour? Hey guys, we're here in Lake Eola Park in downtown Orlando where things are actually starting to get back to normal a bit in Disney City. People are now using the pathways that go around this beautiful park. It's really an iconic park for the first time since Ian. I am now able to stand on this viewing dock. Yesterday it was halfway underwater and while certainly we are not dealing with even a close extent to the damage that you guys are dealing with in southwest Florida, still there is some significant flooding. It continues to be across county, across Orange County, across central Florida, the biggest major problem. to spare Central Florida, Orlando started to look a little more like its nickname, City Beautiful. We're going to start to recover uh, slowly. Water's going to recede. Water that overwhelmed pretty Lake Eola Park in downtown, causing historic flooding in the streets, receded. Residents anxious for normal. I'm good. I mean, I'm ready to go back to work tomorrow. But in other parts of Orange County, going back seems almost impossible. This water's not going anywhere because the water from every place else comes here. Just 15 minutes from downtown Orlando and Orla Vista, homeowners remain underwater hey. and angry. The area prone to bad flooding continued to fail. Did you lose everything? Pretty much. We had to leave everything. <sighs> and lost everything again. This doesn't make any sense. They should have did a better job of pumping that water out. This homeowner fled from her home as Hurricane Ian barreled down, leaving behind pets, even her dad's ashes. We had to leave them in there and the animals. It's, it breaks my heart. Friday, her son went back to get them. Clarence Laster, one of hundreds taken to higher ground by county water rescue teams Thursday. When I opened the door, water gushing down, man. Also had to go back. Inside the house. No. This time on a neighbor's boat to get his medicine. The 30-year resident here could only sum up Ian's impact like this. 2017, the same thing happened. But this time it's worse. It's twice as bad. I mean, uh, maybe three times as bad. Uh, uh, man, it's... it's yeah, I think this, 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 this time is, is the, uh, it's the end of this neighborhood. Among the streets still underwater here, Hope Circle. While some residents are losing it, others are still trying to keep it alive. Some good going to come out of this, like it always does. And pumping stations will need to be used to help get water out of that community. Meantime, here in the city of Orlando, Ian dropped a record-breaking 14 inches of rain. A city spokesperson tells me it will all have to naturally recede. When I asked her how long that could take, she said, we don't know. Mm. We've never been through this before. For now, we are live in Orlando. Katie Legrone, back to you.